I keep telling you, he isn't picking us up until Wednesday. This is Wednesday. No, Edna, this is Monday. Okay, Homer, just hurry. <laughs> Remember when we came here 40 years ago? Uh-huh. Still the same, hasn't changed a bit. But we have, Edna. Only in appearances. I still love you as much as I did then. Me too. <laughs> Silly. I mean, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I never make my way back to the tent. I've been coming here for 40 years. I go the way back to the sergeant place. I mean, it's. It's. Oh, Homer. Homer, I, I know what is it that you can't remember. It's just that I am so scared. What's that way? Make sure we got everything. We got the sleeping bag, Hello. chips. What else do we bring? Beer. Pot. Pot. Come on, you fucking bookworm. The mountains await. Oh, I didn't want to go on this trip, and I still don't. Come on, Christy. <sighs> Let me out. Oh, come on. Let It'll out. be fun. We'll get out of the It'll city. Fun. We'll go swimming, clean air. Just ignore him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, dude! We're leaving without you! Hey, Josh, cool him, man. He's coming! Hey! Hey, hey good to see you. Bye! Bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, babe. What's with the books, dude? We're going camping. Hey, does he read to you while you hump? Oh! <laughs> what are you gonna do, teach Smokey the Bear to read? Very funny, wise-ass. These books happen to be about the area we're going to, the cultural implications, the history of the economy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, you guys ready and back? Guys, what the hell is he smoking? <laughs> All right. Goodbye, people. Goodbye, smog. No freedom. Where are you headed? What state of mind are you bound for? Tell me. Why do they always want more? King H, King H, tell me how long did you get there? They don't even remember. Tell me why, why do they not stare? Their mother's only a member. You've got another member. King H, King H, King H, King H. King H.
here. You gotta keep the flow going, man. This is interesting. Rainbow Valley is also known as Little Norway because it was originally settled by Scandinavians, direct descendants of the Vikings. Really? Yeah. The Vikings. Yeah, yeah. Cool. That's a good band. In the early 60s, they were great. <laughs> Remember Eric the Red? He was great. <laughs> yeah, Eric the Red, man. He, was, he was like six feet seven. And he had red hair, and like he would shave parts of it, so it was like really weird looking. And then he would get up to the microphone, and he'd stick it inside of his mouth, and then he'd start singing. Oh. Good afternoon, officer. Take this. <clears throat> um, what can we do for you, officer? Driver's license? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, right here in the glove box. No! Okay, look at that. What's that? What's what? That book. Oh, oh it's uh, a book about Rainbow Valley. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know that book. My cousin read it. Says it's all about our ancestors. Okay, hey, you're welcome to have it. You can't have it. No, no, that's all right. My cousin got a copy. Well, that's great, officer. So, what seems to be the crime? Your kid's been drinking? No, no. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh -uh. No, sir. I suppose that beer can just flew out of his window all by itself about five miles back down the road, huh? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I can explain that. Okay. Yeah, uh, my dad and his friends used the car last week, and uh, we were just cleaning it out, and I, I threw the can out the window. Well, son, this country isn't a garbage dump. We don't take kindly to littering up here. Every summer, you tourists come up here and treat it like you do the city. We don't like it. Yes, sir. I realized I was wrong. I'm sorry. Well, I'll let you go with an apology this time. Don't let it happen again. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Kids going camping? Yeah. 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 Well, watch yourself out there. Some wild animals out in the woods. Yeah. Looks like you tangled with one yourself there. I got your wild animal. 
My dad and I have been coming up here every summer for years, man. We practically own the place. Anyway, old Pappy knows me. He'll come up and find us. It's no big deal. Hey, what the fuck, Josh? That's Pappy. That's Pappy. Pappy doesn't look so friendly. Oh, not to worry, man. He has known me since I was a little kid. He's known me since I was this high. Hey, Pappy. Pappy Nyquist. Hey, it's me. It's Josh. Josh Winter. Come on, man. You know me. My dad and I came up here for years, you know? We stayed at the sergeant place. No, I don't know you. Oh, great. This is great. Well, we want the sergeant place. You got a reservation? No, I don't have a reservation. I never needed a reservation. Why a should reservation. I have enough? Hey, listen, old man, I just drove 75 miles. I've been coming here for years. I'm hot, I'm tired, I don't want a campsite, hey, hey, Josh, and I want Josh. one now. Yes. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. My name is Mike Stone. I am Papi Nyquist. We're pleased to meet you. Using his charm again. <laughs> uh, my friends and I would like a campsite for about a week. We'll take anything you got. Uh, well, I tell you what. Since you is such a nice young man, so maybe we can work something out. Uh, but I put you up to the Miller place, okay? We want the sergeant place. Sergeant place is already rented. They had a reservation. Figures. The Miller place will be fine. How much? How long are you going to stay? About a week. Twenty-five dollars. Great. <laughs> no, no, young man. This is not the city. You're in the woods. Be dealing cash, okay? Great stuff. Here, Mike. You have enough? Another nice young man. Uh, Larry Fishman, sir. There you go. <sighs> All right. Now, before you go out there, there's something I must tell you, because you're city people. When you are out there, don't litter. You throw something on the ground, you pick it up again. Right. And uh, be careful out there, because there is wild animals in those woods. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, we will. Uh, thanks a lot. Believe he didn't remember me. Oh, me either. <laughs> Pepe, 
that yours then, sir? He never had no manners. Even when he was gay, I... <laughs> Viking marauders ruled the North Sea and ranged as far as the Mediterranean and North America. The Vikings were ferocious warriors. The most feared of these ancient pirates were those that not only fought with a bloodlust and frenzy, but were also known to eat the flesh of their human victims. They were called berserkers. These berserkers were used as the first line of assault in Viking raids. They wore bearskin robes, some with bare snout masks that they had killed with their own hands. These snout masks were the upper jaw of the bear with the canine teeth exposed, which they used to tear the flesh of their prey. These snout masks were strapped to the heads of these men, who because of their treatment, uh, the vicious nature of the acts they committed, and the sometimes drug-induced frenzy they were forced to endure eventually went mad. When a berserk became too much for even their fellow Vikings to control, they would be kept in cages and fed raw meat, human and otherwise. When a raid was planned, they would be decaged, chained, and placed in the bow of the Viking boats. They would huddle down in their bearskin robes, waiting for the boats to land. 
when the sound of the boat hitting the shore was heard, they would be released by their handlers. They'd leap out of the boat in a howling frenzy, attacking any living thing in their path. They would bite in a bloodlusting frenzy until they finally fell down, exhausted. Only after the berserkers had completed this first assault would the other warriors join in the battle and now clean up operations, which included rechaining their berserkers, who were often involved in eating their slaughtered prey. It is believed by many persons of Viking heritage that berserkers who ate human flesh can never enjoy the forgiving peace of a restful death. They are forced to forever revisit the earth by possessing, possessing the body of a blood relative. It is said that living humans who are direct descendants of the berserk will always be in danger of being possessed by them. This possession by the berserk will cause the death of the possessed and ultimately the extinction of the entire berserker bloodline. <laughs> Hey, come on, Mike! Hey, Mike, it's me! Hey, come on, man, enough's enough! Where'd you get that thing, anyway? I don't know, I found it in the woods. Some cross-country skier dropped it. It was a joke! It was a joke! Come on! Yeah. Well, that's been a pretty good scare, huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So why don't you two kiss and make up? Oh, yeah, right. More gags, all right? All right! Let's crash. Maybe there's a checkmate, huh? Looks like you got me, cousin. <laughs> what do you mean I got you? Then I didn't got you, huh? I've been winning from you this game for 20 years. Eighteen. Huh? Eighteen years ago. Eighteen years what? Grandpap died. Oh, no, <clears throat> no, Grandpap died 26 years ago. Uh, I wasn't there. I was in the old country. And when did Uncle Salmon die? Uncle Salmon died uh, 20 years ago. That's when you beat me. Maybe it was 18. No? I, I don't remember. You, uh, you want a beer of all? Sure, why not? Hey, Pappy, did a group of kids come through here today? Yeah, yeah, they was here, right. Oh, I stopped to pick up a full of kids back down the road today, littering. The driver looked like he had a few. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I know the kid you mean. Nice looking boy. Dark hair. A real wise-ass punk, huh? Name of Yaj Winter. Winter. No, I don't think it started with a B. Well, look at me. 
botch my lips. Venter, not Venter. You know, Volt, I worry about you. I think maybe you ought to see a doctor, you know, for the years. Because lately I know this, you don't always understand the words what people say. I worry about you too. 22 years in this country, you still can't speak the language. <laughs> I speak English much more good than you, I'll bet. <laughs> Josh Winter. Josh Winter. That's one. <clears throat> That's one. <laughs> No, I worry when I see those city kids come out here without somebody to watch over them. Where are they camping out there tonight? I send them over to the Miller place. Miller's? Pretty deep out in those woods, ain't it? No, no. not for Yash Venter. No, he's been coming up here ever since he was a small child. Uh, Every year now, until about maybe four or five years ago. Now, he knows these words good. <laughs> you uh, want another beer, Rob? No. Yeah. Here, you can have this. I didn't touch it. I think maybe I'll ride out and take a look on him. You worry too much, Bob. It's been six years. Maybe, but I'll have a look anyway. Well, you let me know next time you want to get got on the chess game, okay? I will, Fazzy. Have a good one. Four or five years old, we come up here and go fishing and camping. Just relax. It's the only time I ever got to really know him. The rest of the year, he was a real bastard. And then he'd bring me up here, and we'd leave the city and work. And he would just mellow out. Sounds like you miss him. I never thought I would, but up here, I do. Why'd you stop coming up here? About six years ago, there was a rumor a little girl got mauled by a bear. A bear? It turned out it was just a rumor. They found her body in the river a few weeks later. She was real torn up. But they figured that happened when she was washed down the rocks in the river. Right after that, Dad took off for good. But five years later, I return with my faithful companions. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad you couldn't get the sergeant campground where your dad... Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, this place is fine. It really it looks the same, really. Well, Mr. Boy Scout, I've got a question for you. Shoot. Um, where does one, you know... <laughs> <laughs> you know... You know, yeah, you know. 
Well, see, that could be a lot of things. That could be, you know, and then that could be, um... Oh, you know. Cut it out. <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> I think you find the nearest tree, Chris. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> hey, be careful. Remember what happened to that little girl. Very funny. I'm serious. <laughs> doing here, Walt? It's got to be goddamn near midnight. He's come back from the Miller place. I'm looking for those kids. There's nobody there. No? I looked all around the place. It doesn't look like anybody's been there for a month or more. You sure you sent them out to the Miller place? There's nowhere else they could have gone. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. I think I know what happened. Uh, you remember I tell you about that Josh Venter, how he used to be here before? He always stayed at the sergeant place. I'll bet he took those kids out there just because I told him not to. I, uh, thought Homer and Edna Roberts were staying out at the sergeant place. Uh, yeah, 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 but, uh, you see, they never used the cab, and they is always putting up the tent, you know. Uh, what's tomorrow? Is, is Wednesday? Yeah. Well, tomorrow morning early, I, I got to go out and bring them in back here. Uh, I tell you what, I, I look in the sergeant cabin. I'll bet I find them kids there. All safe and snuggle, just like bugs, huh? I hope you're right. What do you mean, you hope I'm right? Of course I'm right. That's where they are. Now you go on home. You get some sleep, huh? All right. Book. Is only a book? Sorry, dude. I'm getting a little worried about Christy, man. Mike, maybe we should go look for her. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
Um, Josh, you hold the fort down, okay? Right. Freaky out here. I, I can't find my way back to the cabin. Well, if you head straight back that way, you'll be there in two minutes. Okay. Well, what about you guys? Don't worry about uh, us. We're just going to take a little walk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Okay. laughs>
see you guys. So shall we? Too, Mike. Now, whoever or whatever did this is probably still out here. We don't want to end up like Christy and Shelley. We got to get back to the cabin and go for help. Well, what about them? We'll send for them when we get help. No. <laughs> Mike, we got to be strong. Now let's get out of here. We don't have much time. You knew the way. This is great, Mr. Eagle Scout. Now what the fuck are we gonna do? I'm sorry, man. It was a bar. Sorry. Sorry. 
Come on, the last thing we need to do right now is fight against each other. He's right. Sorry, Josh. Thanks, Larry. Let's keep moving. Which way? Well, we followed you this far. Okay. Let's go this way. Almost there. No, we're not. What do you mean? My truck and stuff's not at the Miller place. Huh? My truck's not at the Miller place. It's at the sergeant place. I don't get it. It's simple. We weren't at the Miller place. I wanted to go to the sergeant place. So? So? So I did. We were at the sergeant place. Yeah, but the old man said there were campers there already. Yeah, and it didn't look like anybody'd been there. Hit their ten. So that must mean they're not coming back. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Maybe crazy, but I think we're getting close.
the spot where Shelly and I made love. So? So I know where we are. The cabin's about two minutes straight that way. Are you sure? I'm positive. This is near where we met Christy. That body's what scared Shelly in the first place. Mike, if you know where the cabin is. I do. Okay, take Kathy, go there, get my truck, and for God's sakes, get help. What about you and Larry? We'll wait here for help. Here? We don't have any choice. Go. Go! You sure you'll be okay? Go! That's right, Kat. It's the only thing we can do. Josh. Listen. I'm gonna send someone back as soon as I can, okay? Don't worry. This is all gonna be over. We know it. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Okay. How you doing, big guy? Okay. 
Got anything in your books about this? Sweet home. There's somebody here. Hey! Help! Help! Hey! Hey! No one's here. I wonder whose truck this is. It's Pappy's. Where is he? Guesses. The first two don't count. Larry? Yeah? I just want you to know that, um... Well, I just want you to know that... You know how I'm always fucking with you and teasing you about your books and all that stuff? I don't mean anything by it, man. I just... Sometimes I just get a little... Like... I get jealous of you being so smart and all. Hey, Josh. It's all right. If you didn't give me a hard time, I... I think you didn't give a shit. Josh, let the radio on. All right. Hey, how about Pappy's? Let's try it. Accident. Besides, I can drive faster with less weight. Go in the cabin, barricade the door, I'll send help. Man. Normally this berserker shit would drive me berserk. But after a night, I'm ready to believe anything. Uh, well, the guys were real, but the curse is just a legend. So what they look like? Uh, they, they wore bare skin robes. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Just my imagination. Go on. Uh, they, uh, they wore bear snout masks. With, like, tusks. Wow. Must be some wild fire.
Jane. A nice bear. We'll be back for you, Josh.
Where's Josh? He's in the clearing. He's, he's all right. He, he was attacked, but he's all right. Okay, he's gonna be okay. Here, put your arm around my neck. What should I do? Here, take his other arm. Take his real I slow. Oh. It's gonna be all right. It's all right. This is Rainbow Valley Patrol requesting medical assistance. Code 4. You copy?
Chance, I'll be 